Sound design. Yeah. So do FIR filters always cause a lot of delay and are they impractical for live sound? Well, in my interview with Michael John from Eclipse Audio, he talks about how that's not true and he wishes that that were a myth that would go away. So I asked Michael, what are some myths that you'd like to dispel about FIR filters? And he said that um, when most people think of FIR filters, they think of linear phrase, linear phase brick wall crossover filters. Um, linear phase filters are inherently symmetrical, and this is where we think of them having the long delay. So let me give you an example of that. So here is his one of his pieces of software, FIR Creator. So if I were to insert a bunch of filters here that are all linear phase here, and then I were to go to the export tab, I would see that I've got quite a bit of error here uh, in the export filters. And that's because to make these linear, I need some filter delay here um, that comes before the filter. So if I insert 400 sample links here, then you can see that my error greatly improves. Um, and now I'm probably ready to export this. And so this is the kind of filter that I always used to think of as an FIR filter. It has a bunch of pre-delay here and therefore is not practical for live sound. As it turns out, FIR filters can be any combination of linear phase, minimum phase, or maximum phase. And I'll show you that as well. So back here in my magnitude adjustments, I could change these all to minimum phase. I'm gonna make another video about the difference between these, but right now I just wanted to kind of go over this myth. Uh, now back over here in the export tab, I can take away this pre-delay. Uh, now my delay is still, uh, my error is still very low. The filter looks good and I'm ready to export. And now if I load this into my amp or whatever I'm using to load the FIR filter, it's not gonna create any more delay than a normal EQ would create which is very uh, little and is totally applicable for live sound. Okay, and then our last option here, what if I change these all to, or, you know what I should do for the last option here is I'll, I'll just create a combination of any of these. So it could be arbitrary combination of uh, maximum linear and minimum phase filters. And now again, over here in the export tab, I'll have to create some kind of pre-delay to uh, accommodate all of this. So this was just a short filter to demonstrate that FIR filters are not only for linear phase filters that add lots of delay, they can be any combination um, and they're actually quite flexible. So then the resulting delay is totally up to the design of the filter and therefore um, it's up to the user. Let me know um, what questions come up for you about this. Put them in the comments below this video or let me know how you're using FIR filters in the field. I'd be curious to know. Thanks. Sound design. Yeah.